Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited to finally be doing this. It's been a long time of me saying I'm gonna make a channel, but I never have. So here I am. I'm gonna show you guys how I do my go-to makeup look. This is typically what I try to wear if I'm going out and not really. So it's just gonna be kind of a brown, smoky eye, always a full coverage, full foundation kind of girl. So Without further ado, let's get into it. I'm going to start with hydrating my face with this facial serum. My foundation stay on a lot better. So then I am going to prime. I like the Fenty Beauty primer a lot. It works really well with the foundation as well, but... Okay, next I'm going to take this damp beauty blender that's kind of dirty, and I'm going to put some of the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfecting uh, Liquid, I don't even know, on this beauty blender and then I'm gonna use the Milani 2-in-1 this is a really good foundation very full coverage and covers any acne scarring or acne very well so then I kinda just mix these two together on my face and just dot it everywhere and start blending This may look a little bit dark at first, but it does oxidize and it looks better with my body. My neck is and my face are typically more white than the rest of my body, so I use a darker foundation. I do my nose last also because foundation tends to get cakey on my nose, so I just use what's left over in the beauty blender. I'm going to take one more small pump of this and blend it down my neck just so we don't look crusty and orange. Okay, I love this chapstick. It's just chapstick, candy cane, super hydrating for the lips. I just like to use any Mario Badescu spray. I got this new one, the lavender. I really like it. I like the smell. It's super relaxing and it makes my face feel super good. And I think it helps my foundation look less cakey. So I'm just going to spray this all over my face. Okay, next I'm going to be using one of my favorite concealers ever. I think it looks so good on my under eyes. And it's the Kat Von D Locket Concealer. Such a great product. I would definitely recommend if you want a full coverage look under your eyes. I know me personally, I have pretty bad bags under my eyes. So, I do my best to cover them up. I just use this um, foundation brush from e.l.f. And put some on there and then kind of line out under my under eyes where I want it to go. I also do it down the bridge of my nose and on my forehead. And I'm going to do a little above the upper lip because I do have zit. Okay. So once that's done, I'm going to take this different beauty blender and I'm going to pat it out under my eyes and then set it. You see my baby in the back? That's Leo, everyone. Come 
I'm taking a nap. Are you sleepy? I also kind of pat this on to my eyelids just a little bit so that it gives me a base for the eyeshadow that we're going to be putting on later. Okay. Next, I'm going to use this um, Makeup Revolution banana powder. It's awesome for setting your face. Um, I usually bake with it for just a little bit. So I'm going to take the other side of this and dip it in here. I'm going to pat this on my under eyes a little bit. I also hope that it helps um, to brighten up the under eye a lot, which is something I really like. I also get kind of where I put my um, highlight for um, kind of around the chin, the forehead, the nose, and the upper lip. I just pat it in. I don't bake there because it can kind of look a little bit of chalky on my or a little bit chalky on my skin. So. Okay, after this step, I usually kind of just wait for my foundation to dry a little bit, and this is when I start my eyebrows. So I use the Anastasia Dip Brow in uh, Blonde. I use a spoolie and kind of just feather out my eyebrows. And then I take this brush by e.l.f. and this is what I use to kind of line my brows and fill them in to make them darker. To go through them again with my spoolie just to kind of mix the, or get the product all spread out evenly through my brows. Here it is, a Gimme Brow. This is kind of what I use to set my brow hairs in place. Typically, I kind of go more I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off my bake. I just use this Elf Kabuki brush and I wipe it off, kind of pat it in a little bit as well. And then I'm just going to take the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. Drugstore powder is honestly, I think, better personally. So then I kind of just take it in there and I just pat it into my face. So I don't move my foundation around. I'm also going to bring it down my neck to help keep that in place and just blend it in better. Okay, so I'm going to take this Okay, next I'm going to be bronzing. So the bronzer I use, I use Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer in Medium Deep. So it seriously smells like chocolate. It's awesome. So I'm going to take this big thick brush and I'm just going to swirl it in there. And I kind of pinch it a little bit just to keep it in the place that I want when initially applying. And then I'm going to be swirling again. Pinch my brush a little bit. And I'm just starting to swirl into my face. Okay, I take this brush, it's kind of slanted and narrower, and I like to do my nose a little bit. And I just kind of line the sides just a little bit. I don't think my nose is too bad, so. I try not to. I also like to do a little under my chin and my neck area, just to help give me a more defined jawline, because let's be honest, your girl doesn't have a jawline. nice and bronze. I'm going to move on to blush. One of my favorite blushes for a glowy look is going to be this Sephora blush. It's awesome. It kind of has a little bit of glitter in it. Um, I'm not too into glitter blushes, but I really like this one. It's very subtle, and I think that it makes my makeup look so good. I look brighter, and it kind of mixes in with my highlight. I kind of just pat that into my cheek a little bit above where I placed a bronzer. Okay, it looks kind of crazy right now, but no fear. I'm just going to take this really large brush. It's an 8 Cosmetics one, but it's rubbed off right there. And then I just kind of blend the two together so that it doesn't look so good. Cool.
today. So I'm gonna take this other It Cosmetics brush. It's a pretty big brush. Um, I just use this and put on the cube shade in the palette right here just to give myself a base for my eyeshadow. And I do take that up to my brow just so I have a clean canvas. I'm going to be taking this brush from BH Cosmetics. This is my favorite blending brush ever. It works so well. And I am going to dip into a little bit of Dawn and Roxy. And I'm just going to start that in the outer corner. And kind of move it inwards using circular and windshield wiper motions. I do a mixture of the two because I find that it blends my eyeshadow better. So now that we have the basics on. I'm gonna go in with, let's see. I'm gonna continue to use this brush pretty much for the whole look. I know, whatever, I like the brush a lot and it works really well, so. A little bit of edge, which is just this yellow color over here. And kind of place that a little bit below and on top of the transition colors we already have. Yeah, like, just a little bit of yellow in this look. It's gonna be like that. Okay. Now I am gonna dip into Fudge with this other BH Cosmetics brush. It's more of a packing brush, and I'm gonna pack that on the outer corner. Okay, so this color is not as dark as I want it to be. So I'm gonna grab, let's see. Perfect, I'm gonna grab the Modern Renaissance palette. This is velvet, I don't like velvet. But the palette's perfect, so I'm gonna use a little bit of Cypress Umber. This darkest shade over here, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but whatever. I'm gonna take it on this packing brush again. And this color is very pigmented, so I'm just going to pack that on to the outer corner right here, as well as on the other side, and use packing motions or else you will get a lot of fallout. <clears throat> Back to our blending brush, the trusty dusty. And I'm just kind of blending that into the middle of the lid so that it kind of has an ombre effect, as well as into the crease to deepen that up a little bit. And then going on this side, doing the same thing. Then I am going to go ahead and put on a lid highlighting shade, I would say. I've been really, really, really into um, this Stila. I don't even know what it's called. It's like a glitter and glow liquid eyeshadow. And it's in the color Kitten Karma. This is so great. Highly recommend it. <clears throat> and I'm just going to put this all over kind of the inner corner and center of my lid. Just to blend it into the outer Very wet, so if you have hooded eyes, I would definitely recommend waiting until it dries to close your eyes, or else you're gonna mess it up, girlfriend. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm gonna wait for this to dry, and then I'm gonna go back on and kind of blend those together just so that it looks more seamless and not so harsh. But for now, I'm gonna grab this brush, and this is a smudge brush, and I'm gonna take um, some of these colors and put them under my eyes to make it look more smoky. So I'm going to go back in with the, the Roxy color over here first. 
and take that under my eyes as close to the lash line as I can. And then back to the modern renaissance, I'm going to go in with the cypress umber, whatever that is, color, tap it off because this is very pigmented, and I'm going to go even closer to the lash line. Make sure to blend that up. Should all be pretty different size, right? Now the lid is mostly dry, so I'm going to go back in with the blending brush and kind of tap into Cypress Umber again and blend out the corners. I'm going to take the Anastasia brush that comes in the kit. I don't usually use these, but I'm going to use it to get more precise and blend out this darker color. Just so that it looks more seamless. I'm going to do eyeliner. If you can, just let your brush do the work for you. Not exactly even, but whatever, it will look better once I get mascara and lashes on. So just to get like a little bit of mascara on my lashes before I put the falsies on, I'm going to use the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. I like it. Um, it doesn't put too much mascara on my lashes so they don't look clumpy when I put my falsies on. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this on. And while that dries, I'm going to get my lashes ready. So, okay, the lashes I'm going to use are um, the Ardell Wispies. These are my OG lashes. I always wear these. So, let's get this going. So, what I do is I take one of the lashes out and I use the Duo Lash Glue. And I just line the rim of my lash. And I just kind of blow on it just a little bit to get it to dry or become a little bit tacky. Alright, 
lashes are on. So while I wait for that to dry, I'm going to apply a bottom mascara. I'm just going to use the roller lash again. And then I'm going to take this uh, Master Fix spray and I'm going to spray my face and get ready for the highlight. I'm going to take this big fan brush and I'm going to take this sleek makeup kit. And I think I want to go for the more orange shade. This is an awesome palette and it's so super cheap. I'm gonna go back into the Modern Renaissance palette and take Tempura and I'm gonna take that and put it right under my eyebrows just to kind of give it a little bit of a highlight. Okay, almost done. It is time for the lips. So today, what am I feeling? Let's see. You know what? I don't want to do liquid lips, so I'm going to take this YSL lipstick in... Yeah, I have no idea what color this is because it's rubbed off. But it's this really pretty pinky color. I love it. It's super moisturizing to the lips. And it gives a really pretty color. Okay, and then lastly, I'm going to take my lash curler. It's just whatever, elf probably, I don't know. And I'm going to curl my lashes to blend my falsies to my lashes. Okay. One last thing, I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills Contour Kit. And I'm going to take this flat brush right here. And I'm going to dip into the banana shade in the middle and put that under my under eyes just to brighten it up a little bit more. And kind of on my chin and under my nose, maybe a little on my forehead. And then just to kind of set it all again, I'm going to take the Mario Badescu Facial Spray. This is um, with aloe, chamomile, and lavender. This stuff is awesome. I love the smell of lavender. Bye. Um, Thank you so much for watching, you guys. This is kind of what I wear when I go out. Um, it's kind of dark. A lot of makeup. I'm into it. If you like a little bit of makeup, go for it. If you like a lot of makeup, do that too. Thank you guys for watching. I will be back with more videos very soon. Um, subscribe. I'm going to be posting a lot of videos, so hit the little bell down below. Um, thank you guys. Love, Love you. Bye. bye.